Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we are going to be checking out the Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2.0 Season 1 roadmap here. And I am really excited for some of this content that is coming up with Season 1. Guys, do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like. And of course, make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Let's hop into this one starting at the top left with Warzone 2. This is going to be the only screen you see here today. We have Almazra and we have DMZ. Watch a decent bit of DMZ. It's basically Warzone without the circle. I'm going to make a video about it a little more in depth, how it lacks incentive to play and some incentives that could be added. Obviously, Almazra is the Warzone 2 map. Give it a year or so. Once we enter year two of Modern Warfare 2, I would highly suspect there will be a new large map for Warzone 2.0. And in the meantime, I would expect one to three small rebirth style maps. Obviously, they haven't announced anything for rebirth, but it would be pretty stupid not to add it in my opinion. Obviously, a new Gulag. We have two new vehicles, the Heavy Chopper and the Hummer EV. I've heard on Twitter that the Hummer EV takes fuel, even though it's an electric vehicle, so it's more like a hybrid. We have the new game features being Aquatic Combat being my favorite on the list here. Warzone 1 just didn't feel right not having swimming, not having any water combat at all. Um, we had Blackout with, obviously, water combat. We had... Cold War with the big battle mode. I can't remember what the hell it was called, but you could actually go in the water in Cold War, and we just didn't have it in Warzone. Uh, it just didn't exist. You just die as soon as you jump in the water. So seeing that is going to make gameplay flow a lot better, in my personal opinion. Circle Collapse is something that I'm really excited for because I feel like the top tier games are going to be decided by how you play the Circle Collapse. So for example... You're in the last, whatever it is, 12 to 20 players. Your circle collapse happens, and you clear your circle. What are you going to do? You're either going to loot the entire thing, or you're going to push the envelope, and you are going to hop in a chopper or a car, go to another circle through the gas, and you're going to annihilate another set of teams. It sounds really fun and entertaining to me. We have proximity chat, which is going to be really good and really bad for content. I'll probably make a separate video about that as well. Um, there's a lot of opportunity for some really awesome moments. It was really good for Escape from Tarkov, uh, in general anyway, but it was very, very strictly and heavily enforced if you are abusing the proximity chat. So we will see how heavily enforced it is in Warzone 2.0. New buy stations, third person mode for Warzone and interrogation. So uh, third person is going to be interesting. You're really uh, hitting all aspects of the market here with Warzone 2.0. You got just regular Warzone. You got the third person Tom Clancy player base. And you got uh, DMZ for Tarkov players who just are sick of Tarkov. So uh, you're getting a little bit of everything there with Warzone 2.0. And I, you know, got to tip it. Respectable. Modern Warfare 2 coming up next. We have new maps, Shoot House, and Shipment. So I'm going to be honest here. I'm really excited to see Shoot House come back. Uh, probably one of the best maps ever in a Call of Duty game, in my personal opinion. Uh, but it's going to be really interesting to see how the map flows without slide canceling. It just is going to be a little bit different. It's just not going to hit the same, in my opinion. Shipment will be exactly the same. It's that small that it won't matter if you can't slide cancel because you don't need to. Uh, shipment, apparently, actually on a ship this year as well, which is pretty cool. That's going to be in your mid-season update. Raid is going to be a game mode. I actually thought this was what they were calling DMZ modes, but this is something new. And I don't have any information on this currently. So I'm sure I missed something somewhere. And I'm sure there is some information on Raid. But I don't have any currently. High Ground is a co-op mission. That's going to be entertaining. I'm going to assume you're going to have one person in AC-130 and one person on the ground. I believe that was a co-op mission in the original Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I don't know what it was called, but I'm pretty sure that was in at least one of the games. If it wasn't Modern Warfare 2, it was Modern Warfare 3. And then you're going to have the CDL Mosh Pit, which right now... Um, it's a little it's a little up in the air because of some licensing issues or some sort of issues when it comes to Activision using uh, real life places for maps. Going over to the battle pass in the top right, we have a new battle pass system, which I saw on Twitter. This was a system where every single tier you can pick a different item. You you can only unlock one item per sector. I think they were called sectors, at least what I saw on Twitter. Uh, there's gonna be like five different items in one sector or something like that. I don't know. I don't have the info yet. 
Uh, hopefully we can wait for some more information on that. If there's a trailer or anything from Call of Duty specifically, I didn't watch it. Uh, I just saw the roadmap and some stuff on Twitter today. Uh, new operator, Zeus. I'm going to be honest, the guy looks like shit. He's right in the center of your screen. What is this? Uh, you know, an upgraded Stormtrooper. We already have a Stormtrooper already in Modern Warfare 2. Not a big fan of the operator. Uh, we have the BASP SMG, which is the MPX. And then we have the Victus XMR sniper rifle, um, which is basically like an L96. And then uh, just to skip the bundles real quick, down at the bottom, uh, we also have the uh, M13 BAR, which is going to be basically... The M13 is basically the MCX, which is the AR version of the MPX. It's basically chambered in 300 blackout. Um, and we already had an M13 in Modern Warfare 2019. And they can see the uh, Chimara, Chimera. That's actually a honey badger, and that'll be added in the mid-season update. Uh, one thing I want to point out before we talk about the rest of the content is that those weapons were originally supposed to be at launch. So any weapons that were originally supposed to be with Season 1 got cut and probably moved to Season 2. So this is recycled content already being added as Season 1 new content. Now don't get me wrong, 4 new guns is decent, but at the same time, it's not. It's already content that was in the game. It's already in the game files. We had it in the beta. We At least we could see it. I believe the Victus XMR is already usable in, in somewhere. I don't know exactly where, uh, but I already saw footage of it on online. So, um, you know, it's recycled content. And I wanted to make that very clear. Moving back up, limited time operator bundles. When it says limited time, it's very, very possible that these never come back similar to the limited time bundles in previous titles in the last three years. Uh, we got Messi, Paul Pogba, and Neymar Jr. Obviously very, very popular soccer players or football players. And um, I heard there's actually going to be a limited time mode with these operators being released as well during this event. Whether it's actually uplink or some other mode, I don't know, but I'm hoping it's some other mode so it can be optimized and for the release of Uplink. Now, I don't know how they're going to do Uplink, if it's just going to be like basketball or something, but I'm very, very excited. Um, if you've been a very long time OG on the channel, uh, me and the duo were probably some of the best Uplink players in the world in Black Ops 3. My duo was number two in the world for Uplink carries. That is not a joke. I have screenshots on my phone somewhere. So if Uplink comes out, I'm going to be one of the best players in the world, and so is my duo. Uh, moving on to the last tab here, weapons, operators, and more. We have Claws, the mystery operator. We got Gaz as a in-season operator as well as Claws. Let's just be honest, Claws is probably going to be holiday-related. Um, and then we have Gaz as, obviously, Gaz from the campaign little surprise, it's going to be an in-season one. I, I would assume you could probably release Gaz pretty early into the uh, into the store, I should say. Um, but we got some bundles here as the final thing to talk about. We have a pro pack. That pro pack will be paid as like regular USD. You can't use COB points on that. But if it's a $20 pro pack, for example, you will get 2,400 COB points in the bundle. So basically all the items in it are actually free. And then you get the COB points as basically your purchase. Um, and then VII Sloth, it looks like, and VII Greed. Those are going to be COB point bundles along with Fringe Tactical. If they're only releasing four bundles, I will buy all four of them. If there's way more bundles than that, then obviously I'm not going to break the bank on every single one, but I'm going to do my best to pick up some. So we have content uh, here on the channel because I do want to review every single blueprint this year. And that's a very tall ask. Uh, maybe if we get up to 50,000 subs, that would be more of an option for me. But financially, I believe halfway into Modern Warfare 2019, I think it costs like 6,000 to actually get every single bundle. And that was like halfway in, not even the whole way. So um, it's quite expensive when they release every bundle at $20 a piece for just a couple of blueprints and maybe a skin or two. So uh, guys, that is the Season 1 roadmap. I am extremely excited to get my hands on some of this content, especially um, Warzone 2 and DMZ. I truly think that we could probably make six videos a day for the next month, maybe. After that, I have no idea if we can keep up that pace, but for now, we've been keeping it up for almost two weeks straight. 
Um, whatever 14 times 6 is, that's a lot of content, my friends. 14 times 6 is 84 videos, and we have been going ham. So, guys, to me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like, and, of course, make sure you're subscribing. Sponsored equipment description below. It's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm out.